Okay, I got all the giggles out. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally back with some details about the upcoming Boxy Lux from Boxy Charm. I know it's been a long while in the making and we don't have all the details yet, but I want to share everything with you that I have so far. Hi. You better go lay down. Mwah. Go lay down. Watch out. Watch out, Lila. Okay, and before I go ahead and get into... Lila, are you just wanting love today? She is wanting attention something bad today. Um, she's so sweet, though. Wow, go lay down. <laughs> okay. Alright, hold on. I need to give her some love. I will be right back. Okay, now before I get too far into things, guys, I want to remind you to smash that subscribe button, become part of the Wolf Pack today, and we're going to go ahead and get on into this. Okay, so they finally told us how much the box is going to be. Um, now, a lot of people had guessed $45 or $50, and they were close, if not perfect. It is going to be $49.99. What they're going to do, every three months, you're going to have an additional, or you're going to have an option to upgrade to the Boxy Lux. It's going to be an additional... $28.99 on top of your already $21 a month and I think that's gonna be a little bit different people who are signed up for three months six months in a year um, because your average box per month is actually lower so they haven't released much details about that they are going to be including more details coming up and a lot of people already got an email talking about the boxy Lux dish and want to know if they wanted to sign up to express interest in getting the box and Yusuf went on to Facebook a couple of Facebook forums and told us that that was actually released by accident and that there was a problem with the link itself. I'll go ahead and include his video where he's talking about that right here and I'll be back in just one second. <laughs> You're such a butt, Devin. Alright, Charmers, um, I know that some of you have received a tracking email with a link for the Lux box and that link had an issue. In fact, that email wasn't even supposed to go out today or last night, it was a mistake. Uh, but we fixed that link. You can either go back to that email, click on it, and it's gonna work. I also, gonna, I'm gonna link that uh, link down below so you can check it out, okay? And that's gonna give you some more information about the Lux box and all that information. And don't forget, we will reveal more information during this month. Every day, stay tuned on social media, see what's going on, because we will let you know what's in the box, when is the box gonna be sold, and all that good stuff. So, um, I just put that password in. All right, Chalmers, the moment you've been waiting for. Wanna, More information about the box so Lux. Swipe out the link below. Drop test. Yeah, the screen's fit. Okay, now if you do want to sign up for the newsletter or to get updates about the Boxy Lux, I'm going to go ahead and have it linked down below. Or you can go to get.boxycharm.com slash boxylux. And that'll take you to the page where you can sign up to get updates on Boxy Lux. Now, they gave a little bit more details about the products that are going to be into it. Not each specific item. The total value of the box is going to be worth $300. And it's going to include things more than just makeup. They're going to include um, luxury items. There's going to be skincare, beauty items, and lifestyle items. Now, the way they are describing it, I mean, given on what little bit that we know right now, it kind of sounds like it's going to be comparable to the FabFitFun subscription box. That one's $50 quarterly, so it kind of looks like they're doing about the same kind of thing. But I'm hoping with this subscription box versus the FabFitFun is that this one's going to be mostly makeup. Um, that one, I actually haven't got it. If any of you guys do have FabFitFun, let me know down below. Tell me what you think of it because I'm really on the fence about getting it. $50 every three months doesn't sound bad at all. But then again, I don't want to get stuck with a box that there's a lot of things that I'm not going to be using. Now, if you remember one of my previous videos, he did say that there wasn't enough to have everyone, for everyone to get the upgrade. You have to be a current Box of Charm subscriber. And they have only a finite number of boxes available. And that if you don't get it this time, then you can sign up on their news letter or whatever their email is. That way you can be up for it next time. I don't know if they're going to try to alternate people who got it the first time. They're going to be put on the back burner while the people who haven't got it that are on that list, they'll get first dibs on the next round of boxes. Alright, so you may remember also back on his Instagram post where I had put in a previous video there was a picture of a regular BoxyCharm box beside an upgraded, what I'm assuming the super 
boxy charm, boxy luxe, box. Now, looking up here to my left, you may be wondering what are these boxes doing here? I wanted to do a little bit more research because I'm trying to get my head wrapped around what kind of products we're going to be getting, how much we're going to be getting for that value for $50. I have over here the regular, this one is the regular BoxyCharm box. This middle one here is the limited edition. You may not remember that, that was $44 or $45 and it included several different items but some people were upset with it, some people were happy with it. I'm kind of in the middle somewhere. And now this box isn't at all anything BoxyCharm. This is just something I'm trying to use to give myself a visual of what we can expect. Now the difference between the regular Boxy Charm box and the Boxy Charm Limited Edition, just for comparison, so that's these here, and this is actually a box for my Loot Crate subscription. Um, like I said, it's not anything makeup related. This is just strictly for a visual, and then I want to compare the limited edition box to this one and then in front of each other this is actually what I kind of think the size of the FabFitFun boxes are I may be wrong on it I think it may be a little bit deeper but this is as close as I could get with the boxes that I have on hand Devin and I have a weird thing about boxes we like collecting them we like using reusing boxes and storing things in them but that's a story for another day and now to compare your regular boxy charm to this box. And here is a side view of it. Um, so it looks like it's a pretty good size. If this is kind of what we get, I'm really curious to see what kind of products they can put in here. And in the picture itself, it looks like he had them positioned like this. This is kind of how I think it looked in the picture. So again, that's just to give you a representation of the difference between the two. I'm thinking they could fit a whole lot in here. I can't remember what all came in the limited edition box. Um, I'm gonna try to include it down below everything that I remember or that I still have that came in it. Okay, now to give you an idea of what we got in our limited edition box, this is everything that we actually got. Um, we got a Ofra Advanced Vitamin C Cream, which a lot of people got mad about this because it's such a small size. As with the Becca first thought priming filter. This is just a deluxe sample size. People got upset about that. We got a full size cover effects custom enhancer drops and I got the shade Halo. We got a Makeup Geek full spectrum eyeliner pencil in the shade Espresso. And I think there were variations of this and this and also the lip gloss that we got from Bare Minerals. These were variations. These are just the three that I got. We got a Big Look Mascara from Pure Cosmetics. We got a tapered blending brush from Sigma Beauty. And then we got a eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow and blush palette, sorry, from Tarte Cosmetics. And this I've actually used several times. Um, I'm actually not a fan of it. It hasn't worked well for me. Um, I think I'm going to depot the blush and put it into a Z palette, but the eyeshadows didn't work well at all. Um, if anyone else got this, I would love to know how they um, enjoyed it. Comment down below if you liked it or not. I'm just curious if it's just me, maybe the brushes that I'm using, but I have tried multiple times and it hasn't been my friend. But that is everything that we got, and I'm hoping that with the Boxy Luxe box that they're actually going to do more than this, and I hope that this time they won't have any sample sizes, any deluxe sample sizes. I want everything full size. Please, Boxy Charm. But yeah, I don't know if anyone was interested in that part of it. I kind of just wanted to include it to give you a better idea of what's coming up and to prepare myself because I'm super, super excited. I cannot wait to get this box. And anyone who watched my last video talking about how to get the extra item in your September box, it seems that that was only for a limited time and it may have ended yesterday and you had to use my code. Um, thankfully, someone did use it, and I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, so hopefully you guys got your code out there, got people to subscribe to it. You know, spread the word about BoxyCharm, let everyone know how great it is. And if you want to keep up to date on BoxyCharm news and to hear my opinions on it, oh, and what do you guys think of my eye look today? I went a little bit more colorful, a little bit more um, dramatic with my makeup. 
I'm getting ready for the August box to get here when we get that Laura Lee palette. People have been requesting me to do a couple of different looks with it. One that is more of the super, super colorful side and another where it's more of your everyday kind of makeup. So I'm getting ready. I'm hopefully going to be able to make that video. Um, I don't normally get my box to around the 14th of the month, but as soon as I get it, I'm going to start playing with it and get ready for you guys. All right. Well, again, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I want to remind you guys also, if you have any questions about me, my life, Devin, anything makeup related, go ahead and comment down below anything that you're thinking of. I'm kind of gathering a bunch of different questions together and I'm going to do a get to know me video or a get to know us, me and Devin video. And just kind of give you a little bit more idea of what we're like, what we're into, our current interests, what we're working on, um, what irritates us about each other, what do we love about each other, and just a little bit of everything. All right, well, thank you again for taking the time to watch this video, and guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye!